Hurricane Katrina, as many were still reeling from the storm, and Broadmoor, Latoya Cantrell was working, spearheading efforts to jumpstart recovery in her neighborhood, an area of the city that was not slated to return. In my house, and I'm excited just to be back in the neighborhood. That was in 2006. Then head of Broadmoor Improvement Association, Cantrell, quickly made a name for herself as a community organizer who took on major issues, including drainage, and yes, even the pumps not working. It's not a good thing. We know that it is. it has to be fixed in order for us to continue on the path of rebuilding our neighborhood, and that's why we're afraid. We want to stay dry. You know, we are committed to our city. Her efforts in Broadmoor had folks taking notice. In 2012, Cantrell used her organizing background to launch a campaign for city council in District B, an area of the city that includes both Garden District mansions and Central City Blight. It's about service, and so I will work effectively with all of um, of course, my council members, but the administration as well. Cantrell fashions herself a champion of the people, unafraid to speak truth to power. In 2014, she ran unopposed for her council seat, among Cantrell's major accomplishments, leading the charge to pass a citywide smoking ban. Overwhelmingly, the public wants this. It cannot and should not be up to a bar owner. As she upped her public profile, there was also increased scrutiny and chatter that she would make a run for the city's highest office. After all, the signs were all there. What was a field of 18 candidates for mayor was whittled down to two. Cantrell faced Desiree Charbonnet in the mayoral runoff. This is a big day uh, for me, for the city of New Orleans. You know, um, we're a city who love, our people love. And I'm just feeling it everywhere that I go. And um, it's special, you know. That's why this city is special, and that's why I want to serve as its next mayor. By the time the ballots were counted, Cantrell had 60% of the vote, and New Orleans had elected its first female mayor. There is a contrasting sentiment when it comes to Cantrell, both great expectation and great skepticism. Her ascension to the mayor's office is not without missteps and controversy. Purchases on her city-issued credit card have been called into question, garnering the attention of the state attorney general. Now, as Cantrell takes office, she makes this promise to the citizens of New Orleans. The same commitment to people and community with the focus always being on our children.